While seeds for the world's crops are safely stored under the ice of Norway, a huge collection of wild plant seeds is kept safe underground in southern England. It's by one measure the most biodiverse place on the planet, because nearly 200,000 collections of wild plant seeds from around the globe can be found here. Arriving at the Millennium Seed Bank, contributions from Mozambique, Madagascar and Armenia. The seeds are x-rayed, dried, weighed and sorted, all in order to have a backup of the world's wild plant species. There are um, various objectives. I would say perhaps the two main ones are, first of all, to create almost like a Noah's Ark of plants so that if anything goes extinct, then they can be, we can use the seeds to reintroduce them to the wild. But a more uh, immediate use is to use the seeds for research. So this might be research into crop production, looking at the wild relatives of crop species, or it might be research into rare species, perhaps to find out why, they, why they're so rare, um, and how to propagate them and how to reintroduce them to the wild. Plant species are dying out around 500 times faster than before humans started to shape the world. Modifications to land use and rapid climate change are largely to blame. We have this old adage that there's no technological reason why anything should go extinct really. We know how to keep it alive. We know how to get it into a safe place and keep it alive. And that's what drives people like myself. Seed banks can do something about species and habitat loss. The seeds are cooled to minus 20 degrees Celsius to stop them germinating and to slow decomposition and then locked in a flood, fire and radiation proof vault. This freezer is the final destination for these seeds, unless such a time that any country requires a sample, at which point they would be taken out, around 50 put in an envelope and sent to wherever they need to go. During my visit, several hundred species of seeds were being prepared for return to Thailand. The country, with assistance from the Millennium Seed Bank, has set up its own national seed bank. They're stored in foil bags with as much air pushed out as possible and heat sealed so that that is an airtight, ready dried collection and it's pretty much as safe and stable as we can make it. We knew that we were going to be repatriating them as soon as we could so that's why it says 50% um, of collection to go to Thailand. Um, and you can see these ones were collected in 2018, so we've been looking after them for years. Above ground, you can find plants grown from the seeds kept in the bank. It's a way to verify the seeds are definitely the species labelled on the package and to make sure they are viable. Rare and endangered plants challenge the skills of gardeners, whose job is to encourage growth in plants that may not feel much at home in England. Despite having the most comprehensive collection anywhere, only around 10% of the world's plant species have made it here so far. But already the collection has been used to provide native seeds for restoration projects and guarantee the safety of species already extinct in the wild. Stuart Smith, CNA, West Sussex.